India, the world's largest democracy, has made significant strides on the global stage since gaining independence in 1947. India's rapid economic growth, particularly since the 1991 economic liberalization, has propelled the nation to increasing global prominence. A testament to this progress is the steady rise in foreign direct investment or FDI inflows, driven by a vast consumer market, economic reforms, and a favorable business environment. Concurrently, Indian multinational enterprises have expanded their global footprint through strategic acquisitions, reflecting their burgeoning aspirations and capabilities. In this video, we'll delve into the factors behind India's growing economic influence, explore notable foreign acquisitions by Indian firms, and discuss the impact of these acquisitions on the Indian economy and the global business landscape. But before we go into India's growing foreign business, we must first understand how India got to where it is today, and how foreign investments had also played a monumental role in the country. Rapid economic growth, especially since 1991, economic liberalization has been a driving force behind the country's increasing global prominence. One of the key indicators of India's economic prowess is its foreign direct investment inflows. FDI in India has witnessed a consistent rise over the years, with the country receiving $81.72 billion in the fiscal year of 2020 to 2021, marking a 10% increase from the previous year. This growth can be attributed to a range of factors, including a large and growing consumer market, economic reforms, and a favorable business environment. Now, on the concept of outward FDI, meaning India's overseas investment has also seen a rapid rise in recent years. These are being reflected in the growing global aspirations of Indian firms. According to the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, UNCTAD, Indian multinational enterprises invested nearly $15 billion abroad in 2020. The sectors that attracted the most significant Indian investment included information technology, pharmaceuticals, automotive, and renewable energy. So what has driven Indian companies to invest and acquire businesses overseas? There are several factors at play. The first is to access new markets. Acquiring businesses in foreign countries enables Indian firms to tap into new customer bases, diversify their revenue streams, and increase their global market share. These could be related to Tata Motors' acquisition of Jaguar Land Rover, which enabled the company to enter the international markets. Secondly, there is also a notion known as access to technology and know-how. By acquiring companies with advanced technology or specialized knowledge, Indian firms can improve their competitiveness and drive innovation back home. There have been several times when companies such as Infosys have acquired smaller tech companies around the world, which are presumably helping increase their overall capabilities. Finally, the concept of economies of scale and cost competitiveness is the most important factor here. By acquiring or merging with foreign companies, Indian firms can benefit from synergies, reduce costs, and achieve greater efficiency. Now, moving on, let's take a closer look at some of the most notable foreign acquisitions made by Indian firms. In 2008, India's largest conglomerate, Tata Group, acquired the iconic British car brands Jaguar and Land Rover from Ford Motor Company for $2.3 billion. This acquisition was a turning point for Tata Motors and transformed it into a global automotive player. Under Tata's ownership, JLR has expanded its product portfolio, invested in research and development, and achieved impressive sales growth. In 2019, JLR accounted for 78% of Tata Motors' total revenue. In 2010, India's leading telecom company, Bharti Airtel, acquired the African operations of Kuwait-based Zane Group for $10.7 billion. This acquisition marked Bharti Airtel's entry into 15 African countries, making it one of the world's largest mobile telecommunications providers. Over the years, Airtel Africa has grown its subscriber base and now serves over 120 million customers across the continent. In 2006, Indian pharmaceutical giant Dr. Reddy's Laboratories acquired the German genetic drug manufacturer Beta Farm for $570 million. This acquisition not only expanded Dr. Reddy's footprint in Europe, but also gave it access to a wide range of generic products and a strong distribution network in Germany. In 2010, Indian conglomerate Adani Group acquired the Carmichael Coal Mine and its associated rail and port infrastructure in Australia for $16.5 billion. This acquisition was part of Adani's strategy to secure long-term coal supplies for its power plants in India. Despite facing regulatory hurdles and environmental concerns, the project was moved forward, with the first coal production expected in 2022. Other than outright acquisitions, Indian companies have also either invested or merged with companies globally. One of them happened in 2016. 
Indian conglomerate Reliance Industries acquired a 60% stake in the U.S.-based media company Viacom 18. This investment marked Reliance's entry into the media and entertainment industry and gave it access to a vast content library and a strong distribution network in India and internationally. And in 2015, Indian multinational company Tata Opportunity Fund invested $100 million in the ride-hailing company Uber. The investment marked Tata's entry into the ride-hailing space and gave it exposure to the fast-growing transportation industry. It also helped Uber strengthen its position in India, where it faces stiff competition from local players. Moving forward to the highlight of today's video is about how these acquisitions or investments have impacted the entire Indian economy. This is the most important factor here as it can show just how it is impacting the average Indian citizen and it shows the future potential of India's global landscape. Foreign acquisitions can have several positive impacts on the Indian economy. When Indian firms acquire foreign companies with advanced technologies or specialized know-how, they can bring these benefits back home. This results in better productivity, increased competitiveness, and higher quality products and services for us customers. This can already be shown at an ever-growing quality of Indian products and services. Foreign acquisitions can also give Indian companies a competitive edge in their respective industries. For example, Tata Motors strengthened its position in the global automotive industry after acquiring Jaguar Land Rover, while Bardi Airtel expanded its telecommunications footprint through the acquisition of Zane Africa. Such acquisitions inspire other Indian entrepreneurs to think globally and seek opportunities beyond India's borders. This fosters a culture of innovation and risk-taking, which is vital to the economy's growth and development. As Indian firms become become more internationally competitive, they must step up manufacturing, research, or development centers in different regions within India. This stimulates regional development by creating job opportunities, improving infrastructure, and attracting further investment. The exchange of knowledge, expertise, and technology that occurs during the acquisition and integration process can have positive spillover effects on other Indian companies and industries. This can lead to the diffusion of best practices, increased innovation, and overall productivity gains within the Indian economy. Lastly, successful foreign acquisitions can contribute to India's soft power, the ability to influence and attract other nations through the Indian culture, political values, and foreign policies. As Indian companies become more globally recognized, India's image as an economic powerhouse is reinforced, which can help attract further foreign investment and promote stronger international relations. So as you can see, foreign acquisitions have a significant and personal impact on everyday lives as Indian citizens. They not only signal the growing ambitions of Indian companies, but also play a crucial role in shaping the country's economic future. As India continues to liberalize its economy and support its domestic industries, we can expect even greater benefits from foreign acquisitions in the years to come. In conclusion, as India continues to make strides in its domestic industries and liberalize its economy, Indian companies will likely seek out more opportunities to invest and acquire businesses overseas. The acquisition of advanced technology and specialized knowledge will remain a crucial factor in driving innovation and competitiveness back home. Additionally, the exchange of knowledge and expertise that occurs during the acquisition process can lead to positive spillover effects on other Indian companies and industries. Overall, foreign acquisitions and investments have a significant impact on the Indian economy and the global business landscape. As Indian firms expand their global footprint, they'll not only bring in much-needed capital and technology, but also contribute to the growth and development of the Indian economy. It'll be interesting to see how India's growing influence on the global stage continues to shape the country's investment landscape in the years to come. But anyway, do let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.